Well, welcome back guys to another Alps electrical installation video. Today is Friday and we've got a battery storage only job to do. Um, so we're gonna set off from our house. We're just leaving now, open the gates. Okay, so we're just gonna set off now. Uh, it's, it's a fairly long way from our house. And uh, yeah, so a battery storage installation today, Fox Cube system. Uh, it should be a good one. All right, here we are. Oh God, oh, I hate those long commutes. Right, let's have a look at the job. Yes, yeah, so this is um, a neighbor of ours actually, he just uh, lives over the road from us and uh, they were interested in solar panels. But as you can see from the drone shots there, um, solar just wasn't really an option uh, because of the, the shape of the roof and all of the the, the dormers that would cast shadows pretty much everywhere. We've got great big trees all around. It just, it just wasn't really an option uh, for the orientation as well. Um, but obviously the next best thing is battery storage because this customer does have an EV car as well. So they can jump onto Octopus Go and they can still benefit from charging their batteries at 7.5 pence during the night uh, and charging the vehicle. So let's get on with the job. We'll come and have a look inside and we'll show you where uh, everything's going. So this is the dining room of the house. We're just next to the hallway. Um, so this is a beautiful home. So I need to make this look very pretty. So what I'm gonna try and do, we're gonna put the inverter and batteries here. There's literally the only option. And it's because the electric cupboard is literally in here. I'm gonna probably put the isolator on that side just to keep everything just as neat as possible. Inverter, batteries is all I wanna say. And we're going with the Fox Cube system, which looks really smart i mean in here it'll probably look like some sort of hi-fi system and um, they're going for um one master and three slaves of the 2.9 kilowatt hours each so that's a total of 11.52 kilowatt hours which is going to make a significant difference to um to their energy bills basically because they do have quite high energy bills here and um, they do have the ev car as well so they're moved on to octopus go and they're going to obviously charge these batteries at 7.5 pence at night so that's going to make a big difference and i think their usage is around uh, i think they said about 13 or 15 a day without the ev so 11.52 kilowatt hours of battery should almost cover them throughout the day if they charge them to 100 percent every night but like I've, I've said in previous videos the amount of battery storage to go for it's always a good idea to be conservative you know don't go diving in and putting a load of battery storage in that you might not fill or require Go conservative after six months check how your data is going and then you can always add to it a little bit more as you go um, so we're going to make a start we're going to get the batteries in and get them out of the boxes stack them position the inverter get that done and we're going to work backwards the last thing we'll do is connect into the board so let's get cracking so obviously we've got one master and three slaves here so you can choose any of the slaves to put your your legs on so we're just opening them all outside and then we'll transport them in uh, one by one, put them in position. For each leg obviously adjusts, so if it is uneven um, in there, then obviously we can adjust that. And you must remember on your bottom one, guys, if you are installing these, you must remember that your very bottom battery, you must put this little plug in because it connects the positive and negative together. It's like your link, otherwise the batteries won't work. And that just goes into the bottom there and that just that's that so we'll get this first one in and put it into position So that's the full stack. Uh, we've got the, the three slaves and then the BMS on top. And if you don't already know, the BMS is battery management system. So this also contains the same size battery as these modules, but also the brains as well. So this is the unit that communicates with the inverter. So yeah, so that's all the stack done, the battery stack. So now that gives us an idea where we can locate the inverter. And oh, Monty's come to have a look. What do you think, Monty? Hey, do you like them? 
You're not going to wee on them, are you? <laughs> so yeah, so we want to locate this inverter uh, not too high, not too low, because uh, you know they may want to add to these, and that is the fantastic thing about these cubes. I mean, look, this does not look out of place in this dining room. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's a nice looking battery system so so easy to install you saw there how easy that was to just sit them on top of each other obviously we've got some leads that are going to come out of this side off, off the uh off the bms <laughs> and that's going to go up to the inverter um and then if the customer ever wanted to add any more modules <clears throat> take off the bms put an extra module on and put the bms back on so these are a brilliant system and they come in different size modules as well these are the 2.9 kilowatt hours you can get them in about five different sizes 4.1 4.3 4.8 2.9 i can't remember them all but you get them in all different sizes so they're really really flexible and really good for going forward in the future should you need more storage so that's that done so now we're going to get on with the inverter aren't we monty yeah should we get on with the inverter <laughs> Come on in. He is calm on in. Okay, so now we've obviously got the battery modules in place, we've got the inverter on the wall as well, and we've just connected the uh, cables that run from the inverter to the BMS. The battery positive and negative, the communication cable, and then we've got our earth bond. We're going to put a little bit of trunking on this, on this here, on this wall, just to tidy those cables. And then we've got to look at getting the power supply here, uh, and the CT cable as well. So inside the electric cupboard here, uh, we've got the main cutout just down below here. And then obviously we've got this nice Luden RCBO consumer unit uh, that's conveniently there ready for me to add an RCBO in there for the inverter. So it's a 3.7 kilowatt AC coupled inverter that we're putting in. Uh, but I'm going to put a 6 mil cable in here on a 20 amp RCBO. And so if we put the AC isolator here and then obviously our AC cable straight out of that, maybe in some flexible conduit, into the inverter so it looks nice and neat. And then obviously we need the CT clamp as well to go down here and, and cover the main line. Uh, so that's gonna run the inverter as well. Okay, so we're all connected now. And uh, so we've got our AC isolator and uh, we obviously ran straight into this Luden board. And that's our RCBO at the end. So we've got a 20 amp RCBO on there, the 3.7 kilowatt inverter. And then we're just running up with some Corpex or flexible conduit, whichever you like to say, into the AC isolator. We've got our CT clamp running alongside through here. And then we've just come out the wall with a little bit of FlexiCon up and in. So it looks nice and tidy. So we're just going to power up now and uh, get commissioned, so I wish us luck. So that's it, we're all commissioned, the system is up and running. Um, as you can see here on the app, the customer is actually baking some bread at the minute, which smells lovely. There is a 3.3 kilowatt load in the house, which it's been supplied by the battery. So the battery is at 52%, but it's sending 3.576 kilowatts to the house. So uh, the batteries are working already, doing the thing, 52% state of charge. So yeah, happy days. Um, nice job for a Friday. So we've just cleaned up. Everywhere's looking nice and tidy as it was when we arrived. And uh, I think that system sits there absolutely perfectly in the dining room. Just need to make sure people don't put the drinks on there. Monty, if you're watching, do not wee on the batteries. Good boy. 
Okay, so thank you so much for watching again another installation video with Alps Electrical. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we also have a lot of solar session videos where we do a lot of Q and A's on various topics that concern customers around solar and batteries. We try and answer those as well. Um, so thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.